how to make $800 stilettos comfortable. So I grew up without a lot of money, but I told myself, Nicole, one day you are going to be rich and you are going to have a pair of Louboutins and you are going to drive a G-Wagon. I thought those two things would be the status symbol to say like, Nicole, you have finally changed your life. You have finally made it because everyone in my life told me you're not going to amount to anything. I thought if I could get like the car and the clothes and the shoes, then I could show them, right? I could show them how successful I was. In an interesting turn of events, it was that mindset that actually kept me broke. So even after I went to school, I got my degree, I graduated at the top of my class two years early, got my corporate job, and then was making more money than I ever had in my entire life. I was still broke. I had this belief that I wasn't well off unless other people could like blatantly see it. What I didn't realize is this simple truth. If you always spend all of your money, then you have no money. Then you are not actually wealthy. Accumulating a bunch of crap doesn't mean that you're successful. And actually in a lot of cases, it just means the opposite. And now here's the kicker. Not only was I wasting all of my money to look successful, which made me unsuccessful. There's a little phenomenon called the spotlight effect, otherwise known as the imaginary audience. Let's talk about this. This is embarrassing. Basically, it's a social psychology concept that says, even though you're buying things to impress other people, People are not paying attention to you the way that you think that they are. When someone sees you with something cool, something that you spend all of your money on to get to impress them, they're not thinking about how cool you look. They're just thinking about how cool they could look with that same thing. I thankfully realized this, right? It, it sunk into my head at some point and I was like, oh, okay, you shouldn't do this anymore. And I turned my life around. I paid off all of my debt and I actually became a millionaire at 30. But here's the funny part. Now that I am actually rich, now that I am actually wealthy, I drive a Kia that I love and I wear Air Forces because damn girl, $800 for those shoes and they're not even comfortable. So if you are ready to stop your money from flying out of your life, know that I have made it my mission to help you get to where I am too. I have a ton of free money trainings to help you get started or you can apply to work with me as your seven-figure mentor, link in bio.